Hey guys, so I just wanted to check in and let you know how things are going. Um, I know last time I had told you I had um, my first PEDS test, the EKG test. We also started uh, learning how to physically do ABG sampling. Uh, so first thing I'll start with the uh, EKG test. So that went pretty well. Um, basically, as I mentioned before, we just had to make sure that the electrodes and uh, everything else was placed correctly. We had to pretend it was a real patient. We were walking in and letting them know what we were doing and why. And then after placing the electrodes and getting everything hooked up, uh, we were shown an EKG sample. We didn't actually run an EKG because uh, we didn't use live people. We just used dummies in this case. We were shown a specific strip and we had to guess what the uh, rhythm or arrhythmia was. So I ended up getting a third degree heart block and had to give suggestions on types of things that would need to be done to treat a third degree heart block. So that went fine. And then uh, basically the rest of the test was just being given various strips identifying the strip and then identifying what the treatments would be if there were any. So that test was okay. Uh, it went fine. I think I missed like two points off of something. And then the next thing was learning how to physically draw ABGs, which was actually a lot of fun. Um, I got really lucky. I happened to get it on my first try, but then only on my first try. <laughs> the other ones I still got the uh, the ABG, but I was kind of overshooting. I was inserting my needle too far, and thankfully we were using uh, fake plastic arms that are set up to be able to initiate some type of pulse, but basically there's a large syringe hooked into tubes that are fed into the arm that act as arteries. So when they pulse the syringe, you can actually feel for some type of pulse. I know obviously in real life, uh, not everyone's going to have a very good pulse, and then also, I am just going to go ahead and assume that drawing an ABG in real life is going to be much different on a real person than drawing it on a uh, plastic arm. So that was actually a lot of fun. I always have a lot of fun in the labs. Um, we all got to do multiple attempts at drawing and uh, it, it actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Again, I know it's going to vary and be different with uh, live human beings once I actually am able to practice it on a person, but I had thought that it was going to be much more difficult than it was. <laughs> so last thing, my peds test. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do as well as I had wanted to on that test. I generally set myself to a higher standard. I'm used to getting good grades, and I think because the test covered so many diseases and so much information in such a short period of time, I had some difficulties retaining all of that information, and then unfortunately, um, life got in the way the weekend before the test, so I ended up having to, uh, I wasn't able to study like I should have either. I still passed the test and I'm not failing the class, anything like that, but what I thought was really funny was um, I was watching a video that another RT student actually made and they were talking about, you know, not beating yourself up over grades, which I think is actually really, um, it's definitely a good thing to do because, or I mean, not beating yourself up is good because, you know, life happens. Again, like I said, I usually do get very good grades. I usually, um, you know, get A's or, and I'll get real world A's, which are not necessarily A's in the respiratory therapy program because um, in the program I'm going to a 93 or above is an A. My, what I always end up doing, not always, but the times that I don't get A's, I'm usually like a percent away. There was one grade that I was so frustrated about the final grade. I had like a 92 point five and they didn't round it up because my school doesn't round final grades, they'll round test grades, they'll round whatever, but if you get a 92.5, 92.6, you've still got to be. <laughs> they don't care. Um, but anyways, I think it is really important to not beat yourself up too bad. It is always you know, good to strive to get better grades, to have a better understanding of the material, but if you do happen to not achieve the type of grade that you want, I think it is important to 
not be too hard on yourself um, because it just lets you know you need to study harder in a specific area as well as you know if you're hard on yourself it's probably not going to help. I'm one of those people where if I'm frustrated I don't study well <laughs> so I have to be able to be relatively calm or not frustrated with myself in order to study and absorb and retain the information. So that's pretty much what I'll be doing this weekend is I've been going over the types of questions I missed. The primary difficulty I had is I kept mixing up uh, BPD, bronchopulmonary dysplasia, with another disease. I know them separately, but now, but during that test, for some reason, I just, I mixed up some of the uh, small differences and that's what really messed me up but you know I've learned my lesson from that and hopefully this weekend I won't have as much going on so I can focus more time to study uh, those specific disease processes because I will actually have my final for pediatrics on Wednesday because this class for pediatrics we only have two tests and we do also have two papers we're writing as well as two workbook chapters that we need to cover from the Egan's. So I'm still doing fine in the class. Like I said, I'm not in any danger of failing. I just felt like I should throw that out there because I, I'm not getting close to my finals overall for the course, but I know a lot of people are, and I have seen people in my class really beat themselves up over getting a B, <laughs> which I mean, some people would be very happy to trade that B for whatever their grade was. Um, so I think it is just, it's really important to take it easy on yourself because these things happen. The courses get tougher, and especially if you have a course that's in a very condensed period of time and it's not an easy course to begin with, these things are just gonna happen. Um, and like I said before, life gets in the way. <laughs> Sometimes you have every intention of doing what you need to do and then something happens and it takes up too much of your time. So on top of my final for pediatrics on Wednesday, I have an exam on Thursday for my diagnostics course going over uh, ABGs and ABG procedure. And that I believe will just be a written exam and we may end up doing the lab exam uh, the following week. If not, they might put them both together. Basically, that's all I've got going on right now. I just felt like it was important um, to, you know, talk to you guys about that because I did catch myself for a minute being really hard on myself. Um, and I just, I want everyone else to know that if you don't do as well as you think you should be doing, that it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I mean, you're gonna make it. It doesn't matter if you get one grade that's not an A one bad grade isn't gonna kill you. And if you're that upset about it, you know, you can do what I'm doing, which is basically just going back through and restudying the information and trying to make sure that I really put it to memory. But again, that goes back to sometimes there's things that are unavoidable or sometimes we self-sabotage a little bit. Like, although I do tend to study a lot, I'm not someone that can stay up until one in the morning studying because if I do that, I know that I'm gonna go to class that day, try to take the test, and I'm not going to be functional um, because I like my sleep. <laughs> but anyways, um, if you guys have any questions you'd like to ask, feel free to let me know. Oh, I have a video for you guys about the books that um, I'm using this semester, so keep an eye out for that. Um, that will be coming next week because I'll actually be doing some house sitting for someone so I'm not sure if I'll have access to uh, film and upload and edit because you know Lord knows I edit the holy bejesus out of these things <laughs> so I've got that ready for you guys for next week I'll show you guys the books I've been using this semester as well as talk to you guys about some of the difficulties I've had using Egan's uh, for a lot of my classes. Um, I do occasionally post photos of what I'm doing in class uh, on my Instagram account, so feel free to follow me there. I usually, I should have a link down in the description of this video. And again, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Feel free to ask if anyone's taking tests, doing finals, or even just having, you know, a rough time. Good luck. Take some time for yourself. Try to relax and breathe. It'll be okay. The semester is almost over. You guys have got this, okay? All right, I'll see you next time.